Filmora has a lot of creative effects. But in this video, we'll look at some random and super useful effects. Let's start. I have this video clip, so we'll set it properly inside the frame. Simply place it on top, then go to the effects section and open the 3D category. There are plenty of 3D effects here, but I'll drag the corner pin onto the upper clip. For now, let's roughly adjust it. To fine-tune it, first set the blend mode to multiply and lower the opacity a little. Now zoom in on the screen to adjust it more precisely to match the frame since this way we get a clearer view of the edges. Then set the screen back to fit. From the transitions panel, I'll choose this glitch transition. To enhance it, go to the audio section and drag in any glitch sound effect. For some movement, search for mild in effects, drag it onto the clip, stretch it as needed and adjust the basic values since we only need a light movement. That looks fine. Now search for highlight glow and drag it onto the upper layer. This effect adds a nice cinematic dreamy glow to your video. You can also tweak the colors and settings to match your footage. Once done, select everything and make a compound clip. Just type any name. Add a keyframe for position and scale at the start. Then near the end, slightly increase the scale and adjust the position. Move this keyframe towards the very end and finally smooth all the keyframes by applying Ease In or Ease Out. This was just a basic example. You can use the same method to set videos on walls, floors and more. Let's look at another example. I have this image on the timeline. Go to Titles, click on Word Art and scroll down. I'll select this preset with a slightly damaged look. Replace the text, change the font, set the size to around 65 and disable the shadow. Then click Apply. I want to place this title in a specific area, so I'll make this layer a compound clip and apply the corner pin effect again. This time, I'll adjust it manually with the mouse. Of course, your values may vary depending on the image. If needed, also adjust the scale and position from the video section. One issue here is that the line spacing looks too wide. So I'll go into advanced and reduce it to around minus 15. That looks better. Now search for blur, apply the square blur and tweak the values to make it look a bit more realistic. For best result, set size to 10% and opacity to 40%. Next, search for noise, apply the noise texture, set the opacity to 20% and strength to 7% and finally change the blend mode to difference. You can also add more detail here by using the mild effect and a zoom animation just like we did earlier. Now we have a cool moving perspective text presets. Go to titles, click on plain text and you'll find two presets that can be used in different ways. I'll drag this one onto the timeline. If you place it at the center of the frame, it looks much better. Like here, I have this image. You'll find the link in the description. Now I'll adjust the scale and position of the text layer to match the frame. and then reverse the layer. Next, go to Stock Media and drag any black texture to the bottom layer. To add some creativity, combine everything into a compound clip. Then add keyframes, increase the scale and adjust the position. And towards the end, reset the values. Smooth out the keyframes with Ease In and Ease Out for better animation. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.